Hey, what's up? Hello, y'all. Welcome back to another complicated entertainment video. If you are new to the channel, welcome on to the channel. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button, okay? Um, If you are a returning viewer, go ahead and, you know what I'm saying, keep doing you. I see you. I'm appreciating you. Like, this is your world. Eat it up. I, like, I see you. Keep on. I, I appreciate you. Let's go ahead and get right into today's video. First things first, y'all. We're going to be going ahead and getting into Miss Cardi B. Um, Apparently, Cardi B has gone live, and she says that she has a big announcement coming okay um she's gearing up to launch something amazing something iconic okay she says that um something big happening okay and it will make or break everything okay now what do you all think it is all right now me personally um i think maybe she is you know gearing up to drop a new single well i don't know maybe it is a new single maybe it isn't i don't know uh people are saying that she is also you know, announcing the new album cover or album title, one of those few, okay? Or she could be announcing her pregnancy, okay? Her pregnancy from her cheating husband, all right? Now, the reason why I say it's her pregnancy because she says that um, it will make or break everything. So either her pregnancy could make her career by help boosting, you know, numbers and engagement or her being pregnant could actually break her rollout and slow her down. Okay, so I think it's more so of her being pregnant. She's going to come out tomorrow with some sympathy baby, okay, um, you know, to get herself some good, you know, PR and some good, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, just overall attention from the media, okay? Now, Loki No Shade, the reason why I also do think that it could potentially just be music is because she's been saying her new album is coming out this year, uh, but Loki, like, we haven't really gotten any other hint but just oh album coming soon that's that's all she's been saying oh album this year album coming soon like okay all right okay <laughs> and maybe she's going to announce her album cover and her being pregnant at the same time you know maybe she's saving the you know what i'm saying cover or maybe she's saving the album announcement okay so that way she can wait until she drops her pregnancy photos so that way she gets a lot of you know promo and press in the media so when she announces her album it can then translate into sales and all that rah-rah low-key no shade i mean this is how i feel i feel like if you're if you get if you get pregnant cool great but trying to use that in terms of your like rollout and marketing is just cringy and corny um i think that you should just have a baby just have a baby but trying to it, it, I'm, I'm not saying she's doing this but if she is trying to you know what i'm saying use it as a marketing tactic like having a like i mean I can see you telling your story as a mother. That's awesome. You should do that. But babies for like promotion and sales and album sales and song streams, that's cringy and corny to me. Okay. Uh, but hey, do what you gotta do. Do what you gotta do. Okay. If you gotta do this stuff for, for sales and streams, do your big one. I'm not mad at you. Okay. Uh, but you know, this is just what people are saying. I'm just relaying the message to you all about different potential, um, you know, situations that could be happening with this announcement. Okay. Now, some people are saying that she doesn't have no announcement. She's just trying to talk, just to talk. Okay. Now, I, you know, they also saying that her announcement could be her getting a new face tomorrow. Okay. They're saying that she's going to be getting a new face. I don't know. Y'all messy in the comments. Y'all be real messy in the comment section. I'm, like I said, I'm just telling y'all what they're saying. Okay. Y'all be getting mad at me. I'm just giving y'all the message of what's going on in the streets. You, like, you can't, don't be, don't be mad at the messenger. Suit the message. Okay. Moving on to um, Miss Megan Thee Stallion, you guys. Um, there has been some more conversation regarding Megan Thee Stallion's tour, as you, <laughs> as you all may or may not know. But a lot of people have been discussing how Megan Thee Stallion has been having cheaper tickets. Um, a lot of her overseas venues have not been able to sell out. Um, she's been making alleg allegedly, okay, fake excuses for her, you know, shows not being able to do numbers. She's been saying things like, "Oh, we have construction on this new venue," um, but the whole time, you know, residents of the area are saying there's no construction in that area and there is no plans on having construction for that venue so now people are saying oh my gosh Megan Stallion now you're out here lying about why your shows are being canceled woo -woo -woo -woo. oh my gosh Megan you are a lying lipo uh now I don't know I just think that like low-key no shade um I guess I mean when you're doing bad sometimes people need to have an excuse for things and it just is what it is I don't blame you you know whatever makes you sleep at night but um New news has broken out that Megan Thee Stallion's team, okay, has a now, <laughs> this is crazy. They have now been giving out free, free Megan Thee Stallion Hot Girl Summer Tour tickets. Yes, you heard that here first. Well, you probably not first, but you heard it here, baby. They are out here giving away free Megan tickets. Now, if you, if you ask me, this is just despicable. This is disgusting. How are you like, 
a hot artist, okay, you know, you have a number one song this year, and you can't, like, you're giving away free tickets. Now, I think, I mean, some people may say this is good, this is great. Don't get me wrong, this is good, this is great. You know you care about your fans. Or is it that she doesn't have fans, so she's now having to bribe people with free tickets to get fans at her flopping show? <laughs> Let's call a thing a thing. Um, Low-key, no shade, this is awful. Um, now this is a great gesture. Don't get me wrong. I'm not. I'm not. I'm never gonna sit up here. I'm never gonna sit up here and act like giving away free tickets is bad because it's not bad essentially. But it just shows you the demand that you have in that demographic. Now over in America, her shows are doing a bit better. Overseas, that she's trying to do her world tour at, there's sections blocked off. There's entire like seating rows blocked off. Uh, we're now seeing free tickets being given out. We're seeing some shows even having, you know, gaps of attendance of people. I mean, like, I'm not trying to be a Debbie Downer here, but I'm just being real here. This is not a good look for an artist at your status of three Grammys. And I keep saying this over and over again because you all do not understand, but, like, you are not some upcoming new independent act here that you're trying to claim to be. You are a well-established artist who have... You, you, you have connections to, like, Jay-Z and, like, Beyonce. And you can't even get, like, an audience to, to, to... I just can't believe it. I don't know. I just can't believe it. But the free tickets thing has really baffled me only because everything that everybody has been speculating about this tour, it's almost like it's... Like, that, that proves it, you know? People are also wondering, you know, where is Megan Thee Stallion's, you know, concert ticket sales report? You know, I don't know. Now, maybe that could come out later on. I'm not really thinking that it's coming out, you know, maybe while it's still going on. I don't know. But I think they're going to wait until the, the, the tour is over to drop the, the entire, you know, income report. Okay. Or maybe they will not put it out. I've heard many, 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 many sources say that Megan's team is actually losing money for this tour. And this tour is just simply for promotion and simply for just, you know, outreach and just simply for, you know, gaining an audience connection again i don't know but i mean hey do what you gotta do baby but yes let's comment down below let's move on to this next topic okay moving on y'all it's officially the end for Nicki minaj she is now officially going on hiatus for about a month and some change um from performing she has wrapped up her leg one of the pink friday 2 world tour congratulations Nicki. okay um every single show has sold out all right Yes, that's right. Every single show was sold out, okay? Across seas as well, all right? Um, but Loki, you know, I feel like this is good. I think she needs a break. You know, like, 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 she needs a break. I can kind of tell, you know, towards the end of the leg, she was kind of getting tired. Um, I'm not saying that the performance was tired. I'm not saying that she was doing bad. You can just kind of tell, okay, like, she's kind of like, all right, let me slow down a little bit, you know? Um, it's just how it goes, you know? You're going to always naturally get a little bit, you know, tired if you've been performing nonstop for over four or five months. I mean, it's just life, you know? Um, great shows, great shows. I'm ready for it, okay? Um, people are wanting her to, to, you know, release some new music while she is away for a little bit. Um, no, I don't really want new music. I want her to, you know, relax, take time, because at, at the end of the day, she is a mother. At the end of the day, she does have a family. Um, you know, and like when you're doing all these shows and stuff, you're like away from your family for a minute. Like you're away from your family and you're just away from, you know what I'm saying? Your, your kids and stuff. You know, it's just like, uh, I mean, I feel like, okay, let her have some time to be doing her. Um, I won't be surprised if she does, you know, do a little, you know, song or whatever. But, you know, I think for this next, um, you know, two months of her not performing, I think she should just rest. Just relax, rest drink you know what i'm saying have a little good you know what i'm saying time you know go on vacation probably and come back ready and recharged okay um you know i don't think that we need to be forcing anybody to um you know what i'm saying like just overwork themselves especially when they don't have to right now you know and at this point in her career she doesn't have to all right but yes comment down below how i feel about that have you all gotten the um you know leg two tickets okay have you got them okay if you have not so why not Let's chat, let's chat, okay? Moving on, though, Nicki Minaj's Barbie Dangerous is now seeing a surge in sales on U.S. iTunes, okay? It's pacing to re-enter the top 200 on U.S. iTunes. It has moved over 150 spots on iTunes today. Um, so it seems like there's a new hit on the way uh, for Nicki's album, okay? Barbie Dangerous is becoming, all right, um, 
a hit. <laughs> now a hit may be a stretch, but I will say it is getting some, uh, you know, recognition on the charts. Okay. Uh, this is great. You know, I think Barbie Dangerous is my favorite song off the album. Um, and my um, Pink Friday 2 tour vlog. Uh, yeah, I was screaming that song to my lungs if you were streaming it. Uh, but yes. Okay, comment down below. Um, I'm excited for this song. Hopefully we get a child. I don't know why I'm even asking for a video. We ain't getting no videos no time soon. But um, yes, congratulations on that. Let's move on to this next topic. Okay. All right, now moving on to our next topic. Uh, moving on to this next portion of the video. We're going to go ahead and get into Kendrick Lamar. Um, Kendrick Lamar is actually making some pretty big noise now because he returns back to number one with his latest hit, Not Like Us, and it replaces um, Sabrina Carpenter's Espresso on the Spotify um, global chart, okay? Um, this is big. You know, Espresso is a major hit right now, okay? So it seems like Then It Like Us is also, okay, um, <laughs> a major hit like it's just a major hit um i love it i'm team kendrick people in the comments saying oh like oh you flip flop one day you team kendrick one day you team drake Who, who's flip flopping i never i never been team drake and if you really are og you know i never was team drake like please stop being weird like i hate people who like try to put me in a box with my opinion you can't do that baby like today i may think you know you're gorgeous and you're pretty and tomorrow i might think you just the worst thing ever walking on earth and you probably snuck on here like, like, it's just, you can't try to, like, you know, it's just, I'm a human, baby. I'm, I'm human. Uh, but, yes, um, never been Team Drake. Don't do not do that, weird one. But, yeah, I love to see this. I love to see Kendrick Lamar, um, you know what I'm saying, get his, like, his success in with this song. Um, rub it in Drake's face. Drake doesn't have a hit out right now. So, you know, Drake can't really compare. Does Drake have a big catalog of music that has already been successful? Yeah, I'm not saying he doesn't have a big catalog of successful music and hits. I'm not saying that at all. Okay, don't, please. But what I'm saying is, out of the two artists who make diss tracks, only one person can get a hit out of it. So who really won a diss track battle? That's what I'm saying, okay? It's a difference. Yeah, Drake got hits, but it, like he can, he could not get a hit off this this battle. So it don't count, okay? Um, Kendrick Lamar is up here battling pop stars with a diss track, okay? That's why I'm gagging. That's why I'm gagging. Number one, that's <laughs> everybody sing this song, even Lil Wayne. Yeah, Lil Wayne, y'all saying, oh, Lil Wayne is just celebrating OVO, and he's, like, dissing Kendrick Lamar. No, stop. Stop. Stop the clownery. Y'all want everybody to be so peaceful and come by y'all so bad. Please. If anybody is anybody's, like, friend or, like, mentor or mentee, whatever, they would never even entertain the Day Not Like Us song, okay? And I'm seeing people in the comments say, oh, well, Lil Wayne is supporting Drake. He's supporting Drake. So he's supporting Drake by singing his Ops diss track and dancing to it by holding an OVO chain. That's supporting Drake. Y'all are so dumb sometimes. Like, for real, okay? Um, and I'm not talking about my my subscribers and my supporters. I'm, I'm not talking about y'all. I'm talking about people who are just in general, okay? Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. It seems like SZA is telling fans to calm down at these shows, okay? You know, sometimes people who are fans get starstruck, all right? And, you know, they want to go ahead and go to Louis Vuitton and buy a millionaire, okay, a thousand dollar plus item out of Louis Vuitton to give to a millionaire after paying money to go to their show. Yeah, um, at a SZA concert, a fan in the audience brought her Louis Vuitton. What? Uh-uh. Mm -mm, no. I understand you love somebody and you are like a big fan of them, but why would you give a millionaire Louis Vuitton? Like, give them something like, you know, a poster or, like, a letter or, like, you know, something small. But buying Louis Vuitton gifts to give to, like, SZA is just diabolical. And that's why I love SZA because, like, that was so, like, genuine. That was so, like, wholesome. Like, that was so sweet of her. Like, she says, you know what? I'm going to give you a wristband. Like, I hope it's not Louis Vuitton in there. Don't give it to me. Don't give it to me. That, that's just so sweet, you know? Some artists would have snatched the Louis Vuitton out of their hands and ran off, okay? But SZA is like, baby, you already paid me for the show. Why are you giving me Louis Vuitton? Baby, I'll meet you backstage. Like, that is just so genuine to me. That is just so amazing. I love that moment. It was really good to see that. Um, but people in the comments are really giving backlash to the fan. Like, what are you on? Like, are you okay? Um, I, I maybe some people just have like 
you know, I feel like sometimes artists, they have a big hold on people more than we think. Like, you never know. Maybe SZA changed your life. Maybe SZA is the reason they're still alive today. You just don't know, honestly, what, what certain people do for them. So it's like, I mean, I get it. Like, oh, what are you doing? Why are you buying her all these expensive gifts? But, you know, I, I, I just, yeah. I, I just, I can see both sides, honestly. But SZA handled that really, really well. And she definitely ate that. She ate that really, really bad, okay? But yes, comment down below. What's your opinion? What's your opinion? Would you give your favorite artist Louis Vuitton at, you know, their show? Comment down below. Would you do that? Would you give them Gucci, Chanel, Prada, um, you know, Poochie Gucci? Um, you know, you get it. Let's move on to the next topic. All right, y'all. Congratulations are in order to Doja Cat. She has just recently wrapped up her Scarlet Tour. Um, her Scarlet Tour was going on for some months now. And, you know, people are just like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Doja Cat, you know, you had a great run, great run, da da da. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. Now, I do have to give her a 10 for her performance abilities. Um, she has been doing great this entire Scarlet Tour run. Um, she was going viral for almost every other, like, festival show. For Coachella, she was going viral. Riley's Festival, she was going viral. Like, you know, she was making noise out here. Like, she was generally making noise. I um, mean, her performances are always, like, they're always good. I cannot, you know what I'm saying? But, like, even through her, like, weird aesthetic that I, I'm, not, I'm not a fan of her, like, demon aesthetic at all. Um, even through that demon, like, aesthetic and stuff like that, you know, she still is able to put on a decent show. You know, decent show. So, congratulations on that. But I'm really excited for this next Doja Cat era. Um, I'm just ready. I'm just ready for something, like, you know, fresh. A fresh visual aesthetic. A fresh visual, like, feel. I feel like Scarlet era has been the most dragged out Doja Cat era of all time. I'm just kind of over it now. I'm glad you had your great performance. I'm glad you had your great performances, your great shows. But this era has just been so, like, drawn out. I'm just like, oh, my God gosh like i'm over it i'm over the musical like sound and tone of the era if that makes any sense you know i'm just ready for something more happier more vibrant um you know something something more exciting to the eye honestly but i get it you know she wants to be versatile she wants to be like lady gaga she wants to have that you know missy elliott effect of being a you know a visionary or visual you know she wants to have that effect you know i get it you know but at the same time you know, it just, it got played, it got played out, played out bad, all right? But yes, congratulations, Doja Cat, on your um, successful achievements with your tour, with your tour, um, period queen, go off, La mama, go off, okay? Clock that T, clock that T. Um, it seems like fans are wondering, is Beyonce about to announce her Cowboy Carter tour? Um, is Beyonce gearing up to do something big with it? Because as of recently, she was seen promoting her album. Oh my goodness. As you all know, Beyonce does not do no promotion at all. Okay, unless she's getting paid to do it, she doesn't do promotion. Okay, she was recently posted up with her Cowboy Carter album, um, signing it, I believe. And, um, you know, there's been so many rumors of the, uh, you know, the MGM residency, all right, coming soon, allegedly. And Beyonce will be doing 100 shows. And they're saying that this could be the official, you know, teaser for this coming. Now, I don't know. I don't, I don't think so. I think she probably just wanted to do some promo um, for her album. Because she hasn't really been talking much about it like that. Like, she really just dropped the, the album and just, like, went on about her day. I think because she's been planning some things for the album. Like, you know, the great tour and visuals, all that stuff. I don't know. But, yes. um, I don't think she's getting ready to announce something. I think she probably just wants to post up with the Cowboy Carter album. Because, low-key, no shade, a lot of people have been forgetting that she dropped a new project. Like, a lot of people forgot Beyonce dropped a new album. Like, for real. Like, I'm talking to people. I'm like, did you hear the Cowboy Carter album? They're like, wait what the what album like y'all may think i'm being crazy and being dramatic but no i'm so serious some people they either heard about it or they haven't like listened to it or they just haven't like heard beyonce drop the new album okay um now most of those people are not really into the you know the pop culture world but even back in the day like you wouldn't you would not even have to be a pop fan to know beyonce dropped an album like no shit like you wouldn't have you wouldn't have to be like a big diehard fan to know beyonce dropped a project you see what i'm saying here uh, now, I'm not saying that Beyonce is flopping at all. She's not flopping at all. She's not flopping. I'm not trying to say that. Like, please don't think I'm trying to say that. But what I'm saying is Beyonce probably just wanted to do a quick picture with her album. You know, quick little cute promo. That's it. That's all. Okay. But yes, comment down below how you feel about this. Let's move on to this next topic. Big news for Victoria Monet. I'm so excited, y'all. Victoria Monet has gotten herself a Fortnite deal. Yes, Victoria is in the Fortnite game. 
All right, in case you all do not know, but Fortnite is that, you know, battle game the kids be asking for V-Bucks for. Um, y'all know Fortnite, okay? She has her on my mama dance in the game as an emote, okay? This is big. This is a big, big deal. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm loving this Victoria Monet era. She's getting her Grammys. She's getting major deals. She's getting co-signs from Beyonce, Janet Jackson. Like, Victoria Monet deserves all of this right now. And I'm just so happy to see this. Uh, I really am, okay? If you all have not heard her new single, all right, it's so good. It's almost like an MJ-inspired um, music video. It's so good. Like, she really can dance her tail off. Um, and she's really, like, a force to be reckoned with, honestly. And I think that she deserves, you know, the spotlight. She deserves it. She's been working hard for years. Um, you know, she's been in the industry for a while now. And it's time for her to win. So, congratulations on your Fortnite deal, Victoria Monet. Um, yeah, I'm happy for you. But, yes, y'all, that's all I have for you in today's video. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Tap the bell so you can get an alert every single time I post a new video. And I will see you in the next one. Be safe, y'all.